Welcome to lecture 11 of module 4 speed measurement using proximity sensor Proximity sensor is a variable reluctance type speed sensor reluctance type means we are using the inductive coil most common inductive sensor consists of a rod magnet on top of magnetic pin that is surrounded by a fixed coil. So this is the arrangement. This is a ferromagnetic rotor where there will be alternate projections like this. And you are using a permanent magnet with a rod where you are winding the coil. Okay, this is the circuit arrangement. This sensor is mounted a fixed distance from ferromagnetic rotor with the, this is the sensing coil. It is arranged with a fixed distance with this rotor having large number of teeth. As rotor turn and tooth come into proximity of rod, magnetic flux of coil changes. Then this is the magnetic material. So when this teeth come into contact or in proximity, proximity means nearness to the object, proximity with the core, what happened? the flux linking with the coil changes there will be change in the flux linkage the variation of flux can be expressed as phi of t equal to phi zero initial flux plus phi m sin omega t where omega is the angular speed of the wheel and in this wheel you are connecting the object whose speed to be measured so when the speed object is rotating this shaft or disc is also rotating The induced EMF in searched coil. Then when there is a change in flux linkage, we know that as per the Faraday's law, there will be an EMF induced. So, induced EMF is given by minus N into d5 by dt. That is minus N into der derivative with respect to t. Phi 0 is a constant initial flux. So, this can be 0. Next, phi m into omega cos omega t. Okay, where N is the number of turns of the coil. So, in general, when this uh, device whose speed to be measured is connected to this rotor shaft, what happens when the rotor get rotated, the teeth come into contact with uh, the sensing core alternatively. So as a result, there will be change in the flux linkage. When the teeth come into contact, an EMF is induced, otherwise so zero EMF. So in this way, you will be getting a train of pulses. When the EMF is induced means you will be getting a high pulse when uh, it comes into contact with this uh, uh, without the teeth position your output will be zero ecm means electronic control module or transmission control module that is the controlling circuit we can see this video for knowing the working this figure if the teeth is rotating, teeth come into contact with the magnet or coil, then LED on. If teeth is not connecting, then LED will be off. So this is the rotor teeth. In this shaft, you are connecting the device for speed to be measured. And when the shaft rotate, uh, when this uh, core come into contact, so like this, this is the sensing part. When this portion teeth come into contact, there will be high and low. When it comes into contact, become high. Otherwise, this become low. See, like this. See, each of these position having certain value. High, low, this degree, high, high, 6 degree, low, high, 9 degree, low, low, 12 degree. In this way, if both are coming in contact, there will be some degree for this depending upon that degree you can able to find the rotational speed so when this shaft is rotating you will be getting a train of pulses when emf is induced output will be high emf is zero and output is zero so this voltage is put to comparator and gives a square wave type voltage and frequency counter is used to count the number of square pulse if you are getting number of pulses in one minute you will be getting the frequency so frequency from frequency you can able to calculate the speed thank you